Hello Stampers, this is Susan Campfield with SueStampfield.com. I have another fun Halloween project to share with you today. Um, this is a Eye of Newt uh, treat holder that I designed. Um, I love the stamp set from uh, the holiday catalog called Toil and Trouble, which has Shakespeare's Macbeth quote about double double boil and bubble. And so I thought it would be fun to make a little Eye of Newt uh, holder for that. So in this video, I'm going to concentrate on how I made the cauldron, if you will. Well, it actually looks more like a boat, but we'll go with cauldron. That's more Halloween-ish. Um, so I'm going to concentrate on how I made this portion, and then the next video I'll, I'll show you how to make the bat. So let's get started here. What we're going to do is I took the apothecary arts uh, framelit set and I used this long one here to cut a shape out of basic black and that one just also happens to match the stamp set so we, here's our image for the upper portion but I cut one, a uh, second one just out of black and we're going to score it so let me just show you how I did that um, and give you a couple of tips on scoring we're going to score, as you can see from this line here, from this scallop down to the opposite side, and then side to side, not in the first scallop, but in the second one, from side to side. So let me give you a tip on how you can do that straight on your um, Simply Scoring tool. So what I want to do is I want to score here, and I want to end here. I can see where this line is, and then I'm lined up there, but I have no idea if I'm still on track down here. So what I do is I move my piece aside, I put my stylus in, I like to use the 6 because then I can just remember that easily. So I start with a 6, I drag it down, and then I place my upper portion where I want to score at that 6 mark. I drag this up to see where my bottom is, and I'm pretty well on there, so that looks good. Now I'm ready to score, just like that. Now I want to do this other side, so again I'm going to go back to the 6, drag it down so I can see where that second is. Oh, I'm way off, so now I know to tilt it, and I can see the 6 up here so I know that my top is in, and then I just score. So there's a little tip on how you can do your Simply Scored on both ends and keep it in line. So here's, a, I drew the on the score line so you can see a little clearer where those are. So again, it's that second scallop across, and then the first scallop straight down on both sides. Then I just took my paper snips and I trimmed that. Now, a little tip for you, when you go to assemble your lower portion, you want to tilt it so that uh, all of those rollos will fit in there. You don't want to put it together completely straight like this for this project because you will not get all of the rollos in there. So what we're going to do is use glue dots and we're going to angle it out like this. Okay. So I just use glue dots to assemble that and then with the rollos to decorate them, so I use the autumn rollos which come in the different uh, copper, gold, and red foil. You could certainly use just the regular rollos if you can't find these. Um, I actually used the bottom for the eye, so what I did is I took the three and a quarter inch punch and I punched out a white piece and then I punched out one that was wild wasabi. The wild wasabi one I cut in half to make the eyelids and then the pupil there comes from our owl punch and I'll show you where that is, that's right there. So that's just punched out of black, and I assembled those with glue dots and glued dotted them onto the Rolo. On the bottom of the Rolo, there's a little indentation here. I put a dimensional there, and that's just to keep them, make sure they weren't falling out of my little boat, so they stay in there nice. Um, and the recipient can easily pull that out uh, off of the glue dot. Thanks so much for joining me, and tune back in for the second portion where we talk about the upper part of our project. Thanks for joining me.